In this video, we will take a look at evaluating logarithmic expressions using the Casio FX115 ES. Please make sure your calculator is in computation mode and that is done by selecting mode 1. Alright, let's start by making sure the calculator is on. Okay, we're going to start with base 10 logarithms, also known as common logs. And problem number 1 reads the log of 1,000. If you notice, this logarithm has 1,000 as its argument, but there is no number written um, as the base number. Therefore, it is understood to be a base 10 logarithm. So we simply go to our calculator. We select the LOG key and then type in 1000 close it out and hit equals and we get 3 keep in mind the log of a thousand is asking the question 10 raised to what power gives you a thousand therefore the answer is 3 because 10 to the third power is a thousand Okay, problem number two is also a base 10 logarithm. You know that because there is no log, no base number appearing here. So it is understood to be a 10. So sometimes the argument might be a fraction. So if you're asked to take the log of a fraction, keep in mind the buttons that I'm selecting over here on the calculator are also listed here on the paper for you to follow. Okay, so let's hit our log key again. And then we'll hit our fraction button. And then we'll enter 8 in the numerator. Use our navigation circle to drop down. Enter in 17. Move out of the denominator. Close it out. Hit equals. And we get negative 0 0.3274 we'll round it there okay so that's pretty straightforward it's pretty easy to um, evaluate a logarithm using your Casio now all logarithms are not base 10 logarithms so let's take a look at some of those problem number 3 reads log base 7 of 49. In other words, 7 raised to what power gives us 49? Well, this is obviously not a base 10 log because we see that the base is the number 7. So the Casio has a special logarithm key for those types of logarithms and that key is located here. So to evaluate this particular logarithm we're going to select this log key and the cursor is in the base position so we're going to enter in our 7 as our base number let's move out of the base into the argument position type in our 49 close the parentheses and then hit equals and we see that the answer is 2 that makes sense because 7 to the second power is 49. All right, let's take a look at number four. Sometimes the base number might be a number like pi. So what do we do in a case like that? Well, since it is a non-base 10 logarithm, we're going to use our special log key located here. So let's select this log key and the base is the number pi. So to get to pi on the Casio we're going to hit the shift key and then we'll hit our 10 to a power key and there we have pi in the base position move to the argument type in 36.9 close parentheses equals and we get 
Alright, last but certainly not least, we have something called a natural logarithm. And a natural log is simply a base E logarithm. So the base is understood to be the number E. Okay, so this is a unique notation that we use for all base 10, excuse me, base E logarithms. So if you're asked to take the natural log of a number, for problem 5, we're being asked to find the natural log of 834. We're going to select our natural log key, which is located here. Okay, so we select natural log, and we enter in 834, close parentheses, equals, and we get 6.72. Six, two.